Many narcissists have a fear of abandonment and many have a God complex. Put these two things together and what manipulation tactic do you get? The baby trap. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good vibes, good energy, good people. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, AKA Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Also, if you want to support my brand, it's inspiredbydreams.shop. And it's a preppy streetwear brand. I'm just trying to bring to my community and grow with my community. Okay, today's episode, this is something that not a lot of people have been talking about, but it's been rising in these YouTube streets and people have questions, you know? So today we're talking about baby trapping. What? And if you're thinking, what the hell is baby trapping? Or do I have a trap baby? What is happening? <laughs> this is the definition. See, baby trapping is when a guy or girl traps their partner by having a baby thinking that having that baby is going to hold them for the rest of their life so they can go on do their cheating doing whatever they want to do and that person is still stuck with the baby you guys let me know down below i know i know i know i know it's gonna cause a lot of confusion but this is something we gotta talk about let's get it <laughs> Mickey made it. Mickey made it. What you made, Mickey? Forget about the way it used to be. This is not a damn democracy. We are in a state of emergency, and my word is law. Now, I know I support men a lot, but fellas, y'all got to stop getting these women pregnant to trap them. Because that's, that's just crazy. You really sitting up here going to get this girl pregnant just to keep her in your life. That's crazy. I don't know what it is about baby daddies. Like, I really don't fucking know. It's like, all these, the stink, once they had access to you once, they gonna always have access to you. Like, that's pretty much all they trying to thought. But especially baby daddies, G. Like, they think, like, it could be, it could be 10 years. They still gonna, they still gonna try to slide a little flirting and slide a little you know, they're still going to try you a little bit. And I just be baffled because my baby daddy, for example, I haven't been with that man since my daughter was like nine months. Why would you think, why would you, why would you think you had a chance? Why would you, I, I don't, I don't fucking get it. I don't fucking get it. I don't understand. I am fucking confusion. But I mean... I guess, I guess it's like, I can't be too shocked. I can't be too motherfucking surprised, but damn. Your narcissistic baby dad hates you because he thought having his baby would break you and keep you close to him. He knew exactly what he was doing. He can tell any and everybody that you trapped him. No, he trapped you. He knew what he was doing on that night that everything went down. He, he knows the quality of woman that you are. And he's envious, has always been. And so he did the most to try to keep you in a place of inferiority and needing him. But instead, you took your child and leveled up. You make your own money. You don't need him. You, your body snapped back. You don't have a problem getting any man while he is still miserable. Try, trying to triangulate you with a woman that is probably going to leave him, can't stand him, still on his mom's tit, still working that bum-ass job, he's still telling his lies, ain't nothing about him changed. Narcissists like to trap you by having children with you. A lot of times, you know, they start off like, oh yeah, they want to have a kid with you, they in a relationship with you, and then as soon as the, the child is born, you see a difference in them. They don't want to take care of their kids. They, you know, trying to make your life miserable. But what you got to do is you can't let that, that mess up your experience being a, a mother or a father. You be the best mother or father you can. You don't, you don't let that narcissist make you bitter, make you cold, and make you resentful. You do, you do your job as a parent to the maximum and you teach your children what a real man or a real woman looks like and you know how you're gonna get back at them 
by literally just being the best parent that you could be not letting them get to you at all don't talk to them unless it's about the kids let them see that you're not interested in them in any way and actually you see them as what they really truthfully are if they don't take care of their kids and love their kids just disgraceful you know what i'm saying you don't even have to say it to them just by how you doing your job and don't look at it like oh well this is not fair <clears throat> You knew what you got yourself into when you went and laid down with that narcissist. So guess what? You take responsibility for what you put yourself in. And you take care of them kids. And you teach them kids never to be nothing like that other parent. You teach, you teach those kids to be responsible. You teach them to be loving and empathetic. And you teach them how to have boundaries and stand up for themselves. You teach them everything about narcissistic abuse. So those kids be ready for the world. That's how you get back at a narcissist that tried to literally, you know, mess your life up by not taking responsibility and taking care of them, you know, their kids. Why is this stigma that a lot of women go out of their way to trap men with babies when it be the other way around? A lot of men go out of their way to try to trap women with babies. Baby. She's gonna be locked away in the house. And do, but to work both ways. In, but what we talking about, but what you talk about, Vaughn, is girls that's trapping rappers. Okay? And girls and that's trapping me, nigga. No, but what are you talking about? Girls that's trapping these girls ain't trying to these, a lot of times these niggas don't even got no money. Man. I've seen situations where these men deliberately trap her with a baby because they know she's gonna be locked away for nine months. They know her. Confidence is gonna go down because her physical appearance is gonna change, not all, but a lot. They know ain't no other man gonna want her at that time. They know that she's not gonna wanna do anything. So what do they do? A lot of men don't support their woman when they pregnant in that time. They still be outside doing what they want, flinging with who they wanna fling with, doing whatever it is that they wanna do that makes them happy. They don't be catering to their woman because they know their woman is gonna be locked away. Ladies, let me tell you something. I went on a date with this young boy. And an old man was sitting under the tree as we was walking by. And that old man gave the stupidest advice I ever could imagine came out of his goddamn mouth. He looked at that young boy. He said, put a baby in her. I said, oh, this is the advice you're giving the young generation? No wonder you sitting under a juniper tree. And ladies, I'm here to tell you. These men will try to trap you and put a baby in you. Okay? If you look at my video from two Sundays ago from Batty Baptist, I said to the women, close your womb. Stop having these babies from these boys. Because they're not ready for you. They're not ready for a baby. But they'll trap you to keep you in their life. And I looked at that old man and I looked at that young boy and I said, bitch, I got a trap or stopper. Now, as a woman, you're probably asking, well, how the hell am I supposed to know when this man is trying to have a trap baby? All right. Let me give you some tips, some warning signs to be aware of. Warning number one. He talks about having your baby before he talks about marrying you. Let me explain something to you. If a man is serious about being in your life, being committed to you, pouring into your needs, then he will be willing to discuss marriage. He will be willing to consider long-term commitment. When that man can't even talk marriage, but he's talking about, can you have my baby? You better run. Run for the hills, all right? This man is trying to set you up. And it sounds funny, but I'm telling you, this is for real. This is happening as we speak right now. And many of you listening to this podcast have experienced this. First date, second dates, this man is already talking about putting the baby in you. But not talking about taking you to the courthouse. Not, let's go ring shopping. Not, what kind of house you want to live in? <laughs> no, none of that. Because all he wants is to make sure he locked you in and you can't go anywhere. I don't like it, but I understand why men trap women with babies. For those of y'all don't know, that's a thing. Like, I've had plenty of homies tell me, like, hey, man, I'm going to get her pregnant. Then she's stuck. Crazy work. Crazy work. But I, though I don't like it, I understand why. Because if you have a baby with me, say me, and I start tripping out, I start doing weird stuff, I start cheating, I start lying, as long as that baby is still, you know, in effect, you always got to mess with me. I know plenty of women who, who have babies with dudes, it's terrible, trash, garbage, right? 
and I'll date them and we'll break up for whatever reason. What happens is I, me and that person separate, but the baby daddy, oh, he still got access forever. He's still in the mix forever. And to be honest with you, I'm just being honest, if I'm a good guy. So if you told me like, hey, Rome, if you, you really care about this woman, like, yeah, you really want to be with this woman? Yeah. All you got to do is get her pregnant. Bro, that would be, that would be, I don't know, man. I don't know. That would be a tough thing. And if I was a trash individual, like I had no moral compass, I would definitely put that in consideration. I would be like, I, I, because you got to deal with that dude forever. I mean, there are some women that just like cut it off and they're done, but a lot, a lot of women, they'll just keep trying to make him a dad or keep talking to him or, and all they did was be at the right place at the right time. Everything about them is trash. Every single aspect about them is trash. They shouldn't talk to them. They shouldn't be around them. But I know plenty of girls still talk to their baby daddy no matter what. He can cheat, lie, whatever he want to do. You still going to talk to him. Just because he was at the right place at the right time. Crazy work. It's definitely not beneficial to be a good man. I'm, I'm like, I'm getting less and less fucking energy to do it anymore. Dead ass. A lot of low down, broke gigolo men will definitely try to trap women. I know, I know, I know. We always hear about, you know, women trying to get the bag from the guy. No. What's not talked about enough is the fact that a guy that really don't have nothing going on for himself will definitely try to trap you like or someone that don't want you to leave them alone they will try to get you pregnant you got to be smart open your eyes and ears look at everything like if this is not someone that you don't want to marry one day or you know what i mean open your eyes and i want a lot of my young ladies to start requesting that yeah we get married before we have kids because a lot of the times these guys don't never have no intentions on ever marrying you but they don't want you to be too detached from them so they get you pregnant and act real crazy on you i didn't seen it happen multiple times not from personal experience but happening to other people please be safe because just like women are trying to trap and get the bag from men men are trying to trap women with their lives like someone that don't want to leave you alone but don't want to treat you right they'll definitely try to trap you guys think about how crazy this is when a dude traps you with a baby he's not only saying you are obligated to this relationship in some way shape or form he's saying you have to be a mother to my child and you're somehow obligated to be a mother to me as well because I know I can't take care of myself. Because if I could, I wouldn't need to obligate somebody to be in a relationship with me to reinforce my inability to do that. And before the guys go ahead and drop in the comments, acting crazy, acting, women do it too, women do it too. Yeah, women definitely do it too. But patriarchy creates a system where women are forced to marry and connect themselves to a man for their own survival or sustenance of their lives. We are just coming into a period where women are able to build for themselves and create through their own conscious will. Not that it hasn't always been like that, but because society is just starting to recognize that after completely demonizing free women. So yes, this conversation is more heavily focused on the men. And yes, when you do look at this conversation with some depth, finally, you can see that men also find ways to depend on women, but then flip the script to make them look like some kind of rebe rebellious, confident, like playboy or some just like 
an identity that validates you being some traumatizing asshole and stopping you from taking the accountability that you need to take. So maybe if you can't make anybody's life better, you could at least just be a good human being. The most dangerous baby daddy in the world is not the baby daddy that leaves you when you're pregnant. Not the baby daddy that cheats or leaves you for another woman or doesn't pay his child support or the one you never see again. The most dangerous baby daddy is the one that wants to sit around and play house. Wants to sit around and pretend you're a family all while being non-committal to you. That way you can't move on, you can't attach, you can't find somebody that truly loves you. This kind of baby daddy will take your entire life if you let him. Put your foot down, have a boundary, walk away to somebody who is giving you breadcrumbs and go find the love of your life. Get somebody while you're young and beautiful. You deserve somebody that wants to be there consistently, committed to you. Give your kids the opportunity to see a family raised in love. And raise your hand if a man has ever tried to trap you with a baby. <sighs> oh my God. Unfortunately, you can't even really tell a man you don't want kids nowadays because he takes it as a challenge. A fucking challenge. A lot of them want to get you prego just to be able to say they did. It's some sick people out here. And I realized that not wanting kids means your chances of finding somebody else who don't want kids, especially a cis head man who don't want kids, who also has his head on straight, who isn't a liar, a cheater, a piece of trash, who's emotionally intelligent. The odds of finding that on top of him not wanting kids, I know is very, very slim to none, but Shit, I'll take my chances. And if you want kids, that's fine. Just go have them with some other woman, not me. At the end of the day, I'm always connected to you. You always gonna have to come see me. Even if I'm trash, you're still gonna make an effort up until a certain point. Like, that and I feel like crazy. men know when that point is. Like, oh, I know how far I can go. I know where the line is. It's giving super traumatic abandonment issues. It's giving toxic <laughs> <laughs> all day like definitely that you need though. your mama you don't need me you need your mama, mama. <laughs> like dang i really don't want her to go let me knock her up and she still might leave but she i was gonna come back because she want to make sure that her child has all the resources all the family all the circles regardless of how fucked up you are because some women don't figure it out like mm, i can find another man to be a really good daddy until later on because that honestly that was us so with in, in with another reason why i didn't want to be a baby mama every time i went to my daddy house i got hurt or something happened mm -hmm. so more on that when we get into the stepmama episode but it, it was always something so my mama felt like she had to protect me by keeping me away from him but yep. i didn't so i don't i don't know that side of the family too much but at the same time too once again if you lay down with a hood nigga you don't have to have, have kids with a hood nigga you don't have to options <laughs> that's, that's like, the model for the show options like you think when they tend that the hood characteristics is gonna be gone you better hope and pray and even then sometimes god be trying to change these folks but they ain't trying to change themselves god can only do so much <laughs> if a person don't want to change and they just want to still be messed up they not gonna change and they gonna stay messed up it is what it is. Because even his mama for the longest, yeah, I know my grandma, but I don't mess with her. I didn't meet my granddaddy until my mid-20s. Because he wasn't messing with his daddy because his daddy was like him. Ooh. It sounds dramatic, but that goes all the way back to when you said, look at that man's family and decide if that's who you should have a baby with. Decide if that's a good Keep in mind, we're talking about take? a teenage girl, so she all wasn't thinking that, about that. No. Exactly. Yep. That part. Yep. Yep. That part. Yep. She didn't know nothing about life. Yep. Mmm. But then that brings it back to that mama to say, baby, this ain't me. Look, all I can say is happening. Baby trapping is crazy. Number one, when it comes to baby trapping, just having that in the back of your mind, you want to trap somebody by having a baby and then your intentions. It's like that whole planning. I believe in karma and all of that stuff right there. That's when things get blurry. That's when your relationships, it just, it's going to head down the wrong path regardless of what you're doing. It's not right. I don't know. You guys leave your comments down below. This is crazy. And I'll get back to you, you know, on my morning show, 9 a.m., Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Love you guys. And until next time, it's your boy, Mickey Fenty, a.k.a. Mickey Made It. 
you're new to this channel, y'all know what to do to this channel. Subscribe.